Look at all that trash in the landfill. What if almost all of it could be recycled before it even got here? That's an idea called zero waste. And we're gonna verify this. Is it even possible to get to zero waste? My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered. And you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. There's no question, recycling is good for the earth. According to some estimates, getting to zero waste in the U.S. would cut greenhouse gases as much as taking 50 million cars off the road. We all need to make a more concerted effort. Rick Gavis is a Verify viewer in Dallas and a hardcore recycler. And he's fascinated by the idea of zero waste. Do you feel like when you recycle, you are making some kind of difference? I do. I really do. So let's start by looking at all the stuff we're throwing away. It ends up here, the Dallas landfill. Rick, can you describe the smell here? No, it's okay, really right? not as bad as I thought it might be. Uh, kind of smells like the ocean almost, like you're... I don't know well, I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the ocean. It but. depends on what ocean, right? Kelly High is the director of sanitation. And you can see there's so much trash streaming in here, it looks like we're nowhere close to zero waste. There's going to be a lot of cardboard. There's going to be a lot of, uh, so you'll see boxes. There's a lot of paper that's in there. There's a lot of plastic bottles. It's kind of hard to see from this pallets. perspective. I see pallets. The pallets. And so that's you stuff that doesn't have to come here. That's recyclable, right? It's, recycl it's easily recyclable. Some stuff can never be recycled. But in Dallas, they believe 85% of trash can eventually be kept out of this landfill. Getting to that number is what they mean by zero waste. But right now, the city is stuck at just 20%. Is that moving fast enough? It can move quicker. Give yourself a grade on how you're doing to getting towards this goal of zero waste. Oh, give myself a grade. Um, <laughs> It's a tough question, right? And so I'm gonna give myself a C. And so that, because I know there's greater opportunity. That worries me if he's only giving himself a C. In order to get to zero waste, you want trash not going to the landfill and instead going here. A brand new $20 million recycling facility that's a partnership between the city of Dallas and a private recycling company. This is the most modernized plant in the U.S., if not possibly even the world. It's super high tech, but to get a feel for how recycling works, Rick and I are going low tech. You get to keep your job if you can pick 50 a minute, all right? We're sorting about 30 pounds of material. The machines, though, sort 60,000 pounds in an hour. It was uh, a little haphazard. I don't know, we, we probably look like a comedy team, you know, from I Love Lucy. Most people don't think of it this way, but recycling is a business. The aluminum, plastic, and paper that comes out the back is a commodity that gets sold on the open market. Here in Dallas, they've been able to make that profitable, but the recycling industry as a whole is struggling. In terms of monetary, it's not working in the USA. Now, if you go to Europe, Wait, so it's not working in the USA. Working. It's not working. That's right. The business of recycling is not working. This is Dr. Sahadat Hossein, an expert of waste management at the University of Texas at Arlington. Cities across America say they're going to zero waste. Yes. The way we're going about it, can that work? No, absolutely no. Anyone want to come and tell me that I'm wrong and they want to be debate with me, I'm open to anybody. That's a pretty strong statement. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's pretty strong. Why is he saying that? Well, Hossein ran the numbers for Texas, and it costs about $20 to $50 to dump a ton of trash at the landfill. But to recycle a ton, it costs $150 to $200. So recycling can be four to five times more expensive. Making recycling as a profitable business is going to be very, very difficult. Because it's just cheaper to put it in the it's landfill. It's cheaper to, to put it in the landfill. We're walking out of the professor's office. What do you think? 
I think he gave us a totally different perspective on what we had been, what we've learned so far. Back to Dallas now, and if economics aren't gonna drive more recycling, the other option is government regulation. So do you foresee uh, bans on certain items? To get to those long range goals, uh, those types of things will likely have to be in place, just to be honest. And so uh, some types of restrictions or bans or changes in the way we do it. And so that's how we get there. People are gonna go crazy if you tell me. I'm gonna fine you for sticking a banana in your in, in your in your grave in. Maybe not, but it's working in San Francisco where they'll fine you for failing to recycle. How do we incentivize or disincentivize certain actions and, and those kinds of things without being, you know, heavy-handed about it? So is it possible to get to zero waste? Well, if you agree that's the right goal, then it means recycling needs to make money and governments need to make people do it. Okay, so what's Rick thinking now after he's learned so much about zero waste? I don't think we're gonna get there, but I think every part that we can do uh, to help try and attain those goals is something that we should all do. Don't take my word for it, take his. <laughs>